smaller, lighter, and twice as powerful. GoPro's Wi-Fi enabled Hero 3 cameras are the best GoPro cameras yet. To use your Hero 3 to the best of its ability, you'll want to make sure you have the latest software. This video will walk you through the steps needed to update your camera using your personal computer. Here's what you'll need. Your GoPro Hero 3 with the battery charged, the mini USB connector cable, and a micro SD card. We've made getting the latest update easy. Simply visit gopro.com slash update and click on the link for Hero 3 Update. First, check that your battery is fully charged and take a picture to make sure your Hero 3 is properly formatted. If you encounter errors and need help with formatting your micro SD card, visit gopro.com slash support. Next, make sure that Wi-Fi is turned off before proceeding. If the blue indicator lights are blinking, press and hold the Wi-Fi button on the side of the camera to turn off Wi-Fi. Then, connect the camera to the computer and start to follow the instructions on the screen. If you're not using a Java-enabled browser, you'll get a screen suggesting to use a different browser that is Java-enabled. If you don't want to use another browser or are unable to install the Java plugin, you need to choose the manual path for updating your camera, which only adds a few short steps. First, enter your name and email address to register your camera with GoPro. If your browser supports it, we recommend you run through the automatic path. You will get a pop-up asking for permission for JavaScript to detect your camera's serial number. If you do the update manually, you can find the serial number by pulling out the battery and looking for the code inside the battery compartment. When this is done, put the battery back inside and power on the camera to continue the process. Next, you'll create a name and password for your individual Hero 3's wireless network. Passwords must have at least eight letters or numbers. After you've selected a password and written it down, click Submit. If your web browser detected the serial number automatically, it will be able to install the update files directly on your micro SD card and the website will tell you to eject the camera. If not, download the update zip file. When you unzip it, there will be several files. There's no need to open them, just copy the files to the root directory of the micro SD card. You can do this by dragging and dropping the files from the downloaded location to the SD card folder. Be sure to put the files in the root directory only, so the files should show up in the same directory as the DCIM and MISC folders. Once the files are on the card, automatically or manually, it's time to complete the update. If you have a Mac, be sure to hit the eject button. If you're using a PC, the manual update process is the same. If prompted to open or save as, GoPro recommends you save the zip file to the desktop to make it easy to find. Then, simply open the zip file, locate the root directory of the SD card, and copy the files to the same folder as the DCIM and MISC folders. Once this is complete, eject the camera. When you disconnect the camera from the computer, it should automatically turn off. Turn it on normally by pressing the power mode button. There will be a series of beeps and red and blue indicator lights will blink and the LCD screen will flash the word updating. This process may take several minutes and the camera may power off and on a couple of times. During the update process, do not remove the card or the battery as it can damage the camera. When it's done, your camera will shut off and the update is complete. In rare cases, the update may fail and will be indicated on the LCD screen as update failed. In this case, you will have to redo the update process as previously described. Finally, power on and you're ready to use your camera. To learn more or get help with the GoPro Hero 3, visit gopro.com support or reference the Hero 3 user manual.